Welcome back to my channel and today I have a sort of like cumulative um, haul. Um, so basically it includes everything, sort of everything that I bought since the very last video that I filmed. Um, hope that makes sense. But technically um, I try to, I mean I, I feel like my subconscious sort of not include everything because I don't want to know how many items I have bought in, in like five months or six months, maybe a little bit more. But um, yeah, let's get started. Well, I do want to apologize for certain noise that's happening because my neighbor upstairs is sort of loud. But at 1221, I bought this dress. This very beautiful long sleeve and sort of short. Um, it's very 90s sort of, 90s or 80s, which I really like. It makes me look very classic. Uh, that's all I can say. And it dropped. Anyway, here's another one. So this one is, they all were in like a sales section, so I don't think they're available anymore. Um, so this is sort of like a shirt but a dress. I feel like it's a dress because I bought a big size um, intentionally so I can wear it at a dress even though it's sort of short but still really cute and very very different. Um, this last piece, let's see, this is the back. The back has a cutout and the front is like this. So it's also short, a short dress, perfect for summer. I feel super, um, what can I say? Okay. I usually wear um, the Victoria's Secret bralette um, with this one and I really like it. It makes my boots sort of show, but it's okay. You can look a little bit sexy and different. At Adidas, I had a chance to go to the employee store in which I got I think it for my school back in that time before I graduate. I got this shirt. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's quite short. I got a, a um, small for some reasons. I even got this cap. Let me just wear it now. Actually, I look cool. I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, and I got two pair of shoes. Let me just grab them. The first one is the um, All Star, a very classic one kind of dirty um, personal opinions honestly I don't think it's that comfortable just my opinions you know the white one also the um, Adidas all-star classic one this is new so I can kind of touch my hands in it um, all white sort of a different material but it's really nice um, I'm not sure I haven't tried wearing this outside so I'm not sure if they're comfortable or not okay top shop so I went to um, sort of like Nordstrom Rack, but I bought two pieces that belong to Topshop. And it says, oops, this is this one. It said, feel no fear. Imagine me wearing this, totally different than what I would wear normally. And um, this is this is me, okay, this is me. I think you guys would know. This is totally me, over a shoulder shirt, crop too, and has sort of like, um, what do you call it? Sort of sleeves. I have no idea, but you get the picture. So speaking of Adidas, I actually went to the employee store from Nike. That's through my um, company. I won a raffle, so I got the ticket to go. And you know me, I like Nike. Oh my god. Um, so this is a. I got two pairs of sweatpants. I know, so classic. I honestly, this is the black one. I honestly never feel happy wearing sweatpants. I want to, um, but sweatpants, for some reason, most of the ones that I tried on, they look horrible on me and it make me look short, they make me look chunky. I don't think they look, I don't think they help me look active at all. Um, but these ones are just so awesome. That's why I bought two of them, black and a grayish. Um, I have no idea what the name of them are. I just picked them up, tried them on, and was like, you know what, I got paid, so let's, do, let's just buy them off. Um, from the Nike website, shh, I need to throw them on my bed. 
Anyway, from the Nike website, I got this simple um, sweatshirt, not sweatshirt, hoodie, sweater or something like that, something like that. Black and white, super um, active with a hood. Yeah, it's a hoodie. Oh, come on, Matt. It's a hoodie. Um, and I got one pair of shoes. Let me show you. Stay underneath. I like to store my shoes underneath. Um, the Hurachi with pink Nike logo on the back. I haven't worn it outside yet because I like to save my shoes until, until, until whenever I feel comfortable wearing new shoes. <laughs> until I feel like I can actually bring them out, you know, introduce them to the world. I love them so much. And so far, honestly, they're so comfortable. Can't complain. Can't complain. Um, okay, let's move on to H&M. Okay. Don't be surprised when I bought H&M because I did buy a lot, but um, not all at once. So it's just more like, you know, once in a while, one item per time. Okay, so this is a dress that I bought and wore from my graduation so it's sort of bodycon but the the um the bottoms flare outs so it's really nice and it's over the shoulders and um it's pretty warm but it's also very comfortable i know it was during june ish sure it was really hot um but it was some somewhat cold inside the arena so for some reason but this dress is just like perfect and um, I got a really good deal on them they were on sale so I don't think you can get them anymore um, I'm sorry about that okay move on to the next item this is just an item that I haven't worn yet because I can't wait and I don't fit on it anymore Ta -da! this is a um, bodycon bo bodycon bodycon maxi dress and um, it has a cutout in the back, as you can see. Oh, you can see, and it's really long because it's maxi. But it's, um, I was surprised when I tried it on because it wasn't actually as long as I thought. So it was sort of like sort of my ankle, a little bit above my ankle, which is good. Um, so basically, just that one that I haven't actually worn, even though I bought it for like three three months ago. This is the probably the most amazing item, the item that I feel the most happy in spending my money, I guess. Happiest when I spend my money. This is a um, sort of like a formal, not casual, but like business casual um, bodycon dress. Not really bodycon, but it's very um, form-fitting, which I like. Let me show you. And it's not as long, but it's not as short, so it's literally just like, I think above my um, knees, which is great, and it's gray. Um, you can wear it for job interview, you can wear it for, you know, like formal events or something like that. And um, I like the material a lot, excuse me. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm very happy in spending money to buy this item. My excuses. Okay, next item. This is probably the very different compared to the dress I just showed you. Look at this. I got this for $5 at H&M. Probably something that I don't really wear that often. I only wear it once. Um, it's a little bit weird, I guess. It doesn't really fit you or like fit me the way I was expecting, I guess. It was kind of weird, but... um. For five dollars i can't complain you know okay this is um still with the hangers this is the jeans let's put the hanger away okay this is a jean a pair of jeans this is belong to the um Coachella. i may say it wrong the music festival something dropping who is dropping okay um so it's high-waisted and it has the stars on the knees and the bottoms are kind of like ripped I guess sort of fake ripped um, honestly I really I like H&M jeans but um, 
the sizing is a little bit hard for me to deal with. I'm sort of in between six and eight. So if I get six, it's too tight. If I get eight, it's too big. So this one is eight. And I do need a um, belt to hold it up, I guess. You know. And it's really nice. I like the material. And it was on sale too, so can't complain. Okay, the last item, the th the one item that I've been dropping on my on my knees. Okay, this is a bomber jacket in sort of like the lavender color. I forgot to show you guys that I've got some underwear for Victoria's Secret. Okay, let's get into beauty products. So I bought this one the most, like the most recently, I would have to say. And um, it's one of the most expensive lip balm I ever spent um, to buy. I don't think I will buy it again, honestly. This is the um, Rose Shave I got, number 12. And I got this from Nutrition Rack for $7.50, which is so expensive. And I really don't, don't like it. I think it's overrated, <laughs> honestly. Um, but it's up to you. I have no idea how to pronounce the name of the brand, so I'll just type it underneath the description bar. Okay, next. I got, this is what I'm wearing, also with one of the most recent purchases. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous um, Lip Gloss. I got one of this in um, kind of purplish color, I've totally forgot the name of it. Um, I know I'm not a gloss person, but I'm wearing gloss today because I literally, this is the second tube of gloss that I owned, like currently. Um, I I just want to gloss so then my lips won't be so dry at work and things like that. And then at the same time, it adds some color to my lips. This one is super pigmented, super moisturizing, um, not that sticky too. And I just love it. And it's such a different color. It sort of match my shirt too for right now. Okay. Anyways, so let's get to um, the other one. So this is the Smashbox. I have no idea the name of this. I know this is the Out Loud. This is sort of like the liquid matte, um, matte liquid lipstick in the Out Loud. The very famous. I know it's sold out very quick. I was sort of like running around to find this one because I heard so many good things about it and my friends love this. Um, I wore it this morning and I have to say it's actually very pigmented and it's not as drying as I was thinking too. Um, I've been using it back and forth but sort of like my impression about this product has not been stable. It's sort of like I was changing my mind from like okay it's a good product, okay it's not. Um, but anyways you should check it out because it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous color um, and I do think the price is a little steep, but if you can afford it with the sale or something, it's good to check out. And regarding the National Lipstick Day when MAC was giving out free lipsticks, I was in the line trying to get a lipstick because I was thinking they could give out their one of the one of the permanent collections that they have. But it turned out they gave out like weird colors. Um, but anyway, so I got this one. Obviously, I would never, like, personally purchase the lipstick, this color particular. Um, but I was given a choice, very limited choice, very limited options, and I have to pick this one, which is um, digging it, and it's just brown. It's just brown. I hope you can see it against my skin. Using my skin as a um, background. Um, honestly, with just one swipe, it looks pretty okay on my skin. More than that, it really washed me off. Um, but it's just matte, so same formula as the other matte lipsticks I have, so I don't have any problems with it. Um, okay, the last lip products that I purchased, kind of covered in dust because I've been having it out. This is the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in Head Over Heels. I'm um, not sure if this it belongs to the permanent collections. No idea. But I really like her matte liquid lipsticks. Honestly, I really do. Um, 
I do think that some of them are hit and miss, and this one is sort of like a miss for me. I was really excited. I really like the color. Um, the color is still really good on my on my lips, but it's sort of patchy, and um, it's not as long lasting as the other ones. That's just my opinions. I don't know. I guarantee you that these are the last bits of whatever left in this haul. So let's just <laughs> let's just go through them fast. This is a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Exposed. Exposed. Um, basically, it's a nude color. You see how nude it is. Um, I really prefer Birthday, the color Birthday, over this more. Exposed seems like like I have no idea. It's just so pale and it's not showing up. Which kind of question, like, leave me some questions like, why the heck did I buy this? But, uh, you know, you just never know. Okay, the next one is this Rimmel London Match Perfections Concealer. Um, I got this is in 125 pair, and it says contains um, vitamin C and E. So it's supposed to be good for your skin, and it's supposed to wear it for up to 12 hours, uh, 13 hours. I personally think it's just all right. I do think it's very yellow for me, as you can see in the, t uh, the tube. Super yellow, and I'm not as yellow, so I was kind of like... Still very good for under eye concealer, um, concealer which um, really what I use this for basically I don't want to waste my money um, okay so for highlighters I am not a big fan of my highlighters I think my skin is oily and glowy enough and I don't want to add more shimmer to it and I also think that my regular highlight eyeshadows can be used as highlighters but anyways I did jump in the train and got this palette instead of the um, the um, an Atasha, you know, glow kit or whatever. I really like this color, the very the middle one for the top roll. It's sort of like a rose gold is what I used today. I'm not sure at the camera picking it up. Um, I really think there's a few of them that are not as pigmented. Like this one is not as pigmented. This one is sort of chalky, this one is sort of chalky too, but this one is so pigmented and I can use it for a, like an eyeshadow. Um, okay, so on a train of getting primer, I am I really don't wear primer anymore, um, but like a few, three months ago or something, I was really into primer and so I bought the Becca Ever Matte Flawless Priming Perfector. Super expensive. Um, I personally, <laughs> I personally um, don't think this is the best primer ever. So if you're really looking for a primer and you have oily skin, I don't think you should try this. I think it's a little too expensive and it doesn't work as it was telling you. And it was as it said, it has this like weirdest texture. Um, I'm not sure. I I don't know how to show you, but. Basically, it comes out like gel, and you have to warm it up between your fingers and your hands, and um, and the gel sort of melts out a little bit, and then you tap it on your skin. I was just having a hard time dealing with my pores, so that's why I bought this. Technically, it blurs out my pores just all right. It did it did keep my skin um, matte for like four hours and then you start just sort of like you on your own lady sort of like that so um, I wouldn't recommend that if you're looking for a primer all right the last last product of this video I promised I promise 100% actually I still have one more but uh oh I shouldn't be saying that but anyway so this is the um, Kylie blush I got this in something romance, hopeless romantic, and honestly, let's be honest, look at this color, look at how gorgeous this is. I really like this color. I really like this product. Um, it took me a while to really 
grow into liking it. Um, but um, I have to be honest with you, and I really do like her blush, at least with this color. Um, I know some people com complain about how it's cardboard and it's not plastic, and it's enjoy the fact that it's not <laughs> just plastic. Less plastic for the world, I guess. That's just my opinions. I know some of you guys might be like, oh my god, what are you talking about? But seriously, I like it. It's very simple. The packaging itself very simple. It's it's show you the color. Um, it does a job of holding the products within it. So it's good enough for me. That's all I can say. So this is the Coach um, Swagger bag took me a while to remember the name of this and I have little attacks and mom given to me by a friend um I honestly really like this this is so small it was limited edition I think I got it on sale from Macy so it was sort of like a good bargain but it's not really a bargain um but I really like it I don't have a black purse ever and so I was like you know it took me three hours to decide whether to buy this or not because I literally was walking around the, the whole mall thinking should I ever buy this should I buy this should I buy this and I actually um, decided I'm gonna swipe my credit card and I did and I'm really happy about this so I really I'm very happy getting this um, anyways so that's all for today I hope you guys like this haul I know I'm not wearing that many, that much of makeup as expecting, but um, but I hope you guys do okay with that. <laughs> um, and I don't know what to do with my hair as usual. You can just start knowing me by like Bao, who never know what to do with her hair or something like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next video.